So for us, we continue to closely monitor Tropical Storm Dawn. Sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. It is showing some signs of strengthening, but the great news, it doesn't matter. It's in the central Atlantic, and it will continue to stay away from land, even away from the Canadian Maritimes over the weekend as it eventually curves off into the North Atlantic and dies out. For us, see all of that orange? That's the Saharan air layer, and because of all of that Saharan dust, because of that plume, we're not expecting any development close to home across the Caribbean anywhere close to the Bahamas or even extending into the Gulf of Mexico as we look out through the next five days. That plume really expected to be overhead as we look ahead to Sunday and Monday. Interestingly enough, you'll notice in my forecast, I've pulled back those rain chances on Sunday partially because of this. Let's take a live look outside right now. Things definitely active radar wise. Showers and storms have been quite robust this afternoon across the Lee into Charlotte counties. And here we are looking live from atop the Fox 4 studios and there you go lots of rain still a lot of lightning with these storms as they gradually work their way off toward the north as well as the northwest so zooming in Mount of lightning strikes. This is a really good indicator. We've been monitoring it now for the last hour or two. This is a good indicator with the seeing the lightning strikes drop. That indicates that these storms are gradually weakening, but still packing quite a punch, especially up into DeSoto County. Now back to Port Charlotte, Punta Gorda, Cape Hayes Peninsula, especially Boca Grande, Gasparilla, Cayo Costa down toward North Captiva as well as Captiva. Very heavy rain as well as frequent lightning. These are the kind of storms you absolutely want to make sure you are inside. While they're not severe, they are still on the stronger side, and especially right along 75. Very heavy pockets of rain also along 41, heading up toward Port Charlotte as well as Northport, then back toward the Cape Hayes Peninsula, Placida, Boca Grande, still seeing a lot of lightning right there over Boca Grande. As for Boquilla, still a little bit of action there, but you're almost in the clear. You can see the back end of it right here and across the Cape, certainly seeing improvement. Still, though, some lightning in and around Manatee Park, Alva, as well as Olga, stretching back toward Lehigh Acres Gateway. Still a fair amount of activity right here that we will continue to monitor. Not quite as active as we travel a little farther toward the south here in Collier County, but still monitoring some of those light rain showers. Big story, of course, the heat because those storms didn't develop until later in the day. Fort Myers, Punta Gorda hit those records of 97. Naples set a new record of 96 degrees. So next couple of hours will continue to stay active, but after 11 p.m., showers and storms clear out. So tomorrow morning, we'll kick things off with lots of sunshine. Then after lunch, that's when those showers and storms will once again fire up. So heads up, similar to today, those heavy downpours, frequent lightning could get in the way of late afternoon and evening plans. Before that, though, it's going to be another hot one. 78 degrees is where we'll be starting off tomorrow morning, then looking ahead to the afternoon, up to 93 we go. It's going to be feeling more like 100 to 110 degrees as those heat advisories continue for Collier, Glades, and Hendry. Quick peek ahead to the weekend, pulling back those rain chances Sunday and Monday, courtesy of that Saharan dust overhead.